Hi everyone and welcome to Bobby B's East Coast RC. This is Bobby B speaking and I am stoked to finally be able to run my Exceed Driftstar 110 scale drift car. Uh, we've had some bad weather as far as rain goes and stuff and I'm not big on you know running my vehicles in any kind of bad weather for the first time so I wanted to wait till it dried out a little but uh, they're talking it might rain later so I just figured this is as dry as it's getting so I'm going to try this thing out. It's basically all stock. The only thing I changed is the body. I just did it, you know, and I put the body on, but I uh, put the stock tires back on because I had changed the tires. So what you're going to see is how it will run and perform out of the box. Transmitter, battery, uh, tires, you name it. It's all stock. So without further ado, let's see what this baby can do. Take a look together here. It's okay. Well, I can't be too harsh on this because the asphalt is not the best. I mean, this is really, really bumpy. And there's loose gravel everywhere. And it's wet. So, um, I can't critique it too harshly yet, but... Might be just wet out, but... I think it's a servo. Alright, I'm gonna try to put it on the Keep going out of the shot, so. Every little bump, man. Look at that. Oh, the battery's dead. All right, so let's add that to one of the problems. Oh, 1800 milliamp battery with these banana connectors is only gonna give you about, I'd say eight minutes to 10 minutes of runtime. So yeah, that's a, a minus. If you already have batteries, then it's not really a big deal. Problem is, very few people have banana connectors and I wish people would, you know, these companies would understand that. Use Molex, use Deans, use the fake Deans, I don't care, but those things gotta go. Um, so yeah, the battery's an issue. Uh, next time I run, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run a bigger, uh, 5,000 milliamp pack, but, uh, I don't hate it. I think, uh, you know, if I try to run on a little bit smoother surface, like the surface I ran the E10 on, we could see a difference. Um, I'm also going to change the tires. And the drift tires are not that expensive at all. I guess it depends on which brand you get. But 
Um, I get them at Hobby King, and I haven't had a problem with them on my E10, so I'm going to try to run those. Uh, the suspension soft out of the box, I can tell that. The servo is a bit weak. Um, as far as it snapping back, now when you're drifting, you want quick response, really quick, and it's not. It's not quick uh, by any means, but um, we have to remember this is a hundred and five dollar one ten scale drift car, and for a hundred and ten dollars, it's not bad at all. Keeping in mind that this is not the body you get with it, but still, I mean, you get a three fifty Z body, and it was a good looking body, you know. Um, the wheels, yeah, I wasn't too happy with, but uh, for a hundred and five dollars, I can't. Like I said, I'm not gonna complain too much. I'll wait till I run on a couple different surfaces as far as uh, you know, the texture goes. Cause like I said, guys, this is bad. I mean, these, this is bad. There's holes, and when I'm drifting through one and I hit one of these crevices here, it's just the car's bouncing all over the place. So I don't know. Uh, that's all the one I'm gonna do right now. But uh. I'm going to try to get a better running video and post it ASAP, guys. As soon as we have a nice day, I'll go to my usual spot and I'll run. And it's it's really smooth there. So, um, until next time, guys, thanks for checking out my car. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you uh, for the time being. But, um, like I said, as soon as I can, I'll, I'll get some more footage and let you know what the score is. So, uh, thanks again for watching Bobby BZ's Coast RC. Until next time, guys, have fun and stay safe.